people have uh, compared you with Lil B. Yeah, I saw some of his videos. What do you think? Matter of fact, it's pretty cool. It's like he, he making his own moves and, mm -hmm. you know, he'll film a video anywhere. He'll cook <laughs> breakfast and do his video. Throw up. You know, one thing, one video I saw that was kind of ill, he had like some crazy grandmother hat on. Like this, it was like some, it was crazy though. But the, the record was wild. Like, I like the dude's motive of work. Like, he keeps making records, like, constantly making, and he'll film a video anywhere. And he got more views than the average person signed to a record label. My, on the Vlad TV YouTube channel, there's over 5,000 videos, and the biggest video is Little B Wonton Soup, close to 12 million views. That guy is cool. It's like he has a lot of like, a lot of work ethic to himself too. It's like, you know, you gotta say sometimes a guy that makes records like that, he's not lazy. He's making songs. Like he's, he's making stuff. He's creating records. Like he, no matter how much you see him, it's like you gotta figure out he he has a place to go to make them songs. Like he's making those songs. He's not like. It's not like he's not making those songs. Like he's making them naturally the way he wants to make them. And it's not like a record company is behind that stuff. Absolutely Cause, not. Because you can listen to his music and you can tell like, you know, it's no executive sitting and telling them. Most artists, you can tell it's very executive driven. Like, okay, this song is, you know, supposed to be directed this way. It's more a lot of politics in the song. His songs, you can tell it's no politics in the records at all it's just what he made well for the way i've had bass you know so he he calls himself the bass god and bass music from what i understand the way he does it is he goes in the booth and whatever pops in his mind what I'm saying. comes out <laughs> well and then and then one take and then he goes to the next song and does the same thing well you know it's funny too it's like you don't always have to make perfect records sometimes. Sometimes you might not feel like, you might say a word that's funny that you mispronounce and you want to leave it like that. Or you might want to make up a word. You might want to make a word called eradicize. And you're like, that's no such word in the dictionary. But it sounds so good on the record, you're like, I'm going to leave eradicize. It sounds good. But if you was with a label, they would be like, you know, you didn't say that word right. Why don't you go back and then edit it and take it out and, you know, pay a lot of money to refix it and remix it. And, you know, it's like, even if you was an R&B singer, you couldn't sing a wrong word, you know, you know. So I'm saying that's good for him and it's definitely open-minded to the ears because a person like that can make anything and it opens doors for people who want to work on songs and feel more open about them. 